rather short video, we're going to have a look at a number of the different uh, sources of information that are available online that you might want to have a look at uh, throughout the, the module. Now, of course, in terms of the module, there'll be a number of resources that I'll provide that hopefully will be of use. But in a very real sense, um, you know, it's only the, the you know, scratching the surface in terms of the volume of information that is available. And there's a lot of extremely useful uh, sources of online information that can help uh, augment and inform and enrich the development that you go through. And it's certainly worthwhile having explore of these to determine what, what works best for yourself. So I'll highlight a few uh, areas. Um, first one is, is really in terms of, I suppose, you might put it as, as developer information. And um, I mean, it's just easy. Just do Google Android developer. Uh, Android or Google have provided quite a, a rich uh, online set of resources for um, Android developers. And it's worthwhile going and having a look at this. They tend to update it quite frequently. So this is the developer.android.com um, site. And it breaks into three areas in terms of design, development, and distribute. And Genuinely, all, all well, the design and development will make a lot more sense for us initially. The distribute uh, towards the end, if you're thinking of actually putting your your app up in the store. So I, I certainly recommend having a good look through their site. I mean, it'll change quite frequently in terms of the content, um, but the design guidelines that they have are actually very useful. They set out in quite a readable way some of the underlying principles that they have for creating a good um, experience. Now, a lot of the things are, are for traditional UI or widget-based interfaces. We're doing a game, but the principles apply uh, nevertheless. So, you know, the minute they have information there on, on talking about uh, different forms of, of animation, and, and how you might want to do it and what things uh, seem to be smoother or look more natural than other ones. Uh, there's also uh, an aspect there on style. We're going to talk about some style guidelines that they have, different ways of doing colours uh, and so on and so forth. And if you delve into it, they have a number of actually videos where they go through and talk about some of the principles that they have used when uh, designing these aspects. So definitely worthwhile going through, taking a bit of time to, to sort of soak this in. Um, look at, uh, there's a creative vision. This was some of the things they, they set about, about how they wanted to design it, about enchant and simplify and amaze me. Uh, all good stuff to, to, to try to keep in mind when you're thinking about how you should go around uh, designing your, your game. Now, of this module is the programming side that will attract the marks, but it doesn't really detract from the importance of having a good uh, visual design. So certainly do strive to, to achieve that. Uh, next section along is develop. So if you click on uh, this, it'll take you to the developer resources. Um, there's quite a lot of things here. So there's quite a few training guides that you can, you can go through. Um, for you know, building your, your first app if you want it to, to do that. We'll, we'll, we'll sort of look at a number of these ones. So useful ones possibly to, to think about here um, would be things like managing the activity life cycle. Um, again, we'll have specific lectures where we look into some of the life cycle aspects that you have to manage on, uh, not only in the Android, but in sort of most mobile environments. Um, support for different versions, again, uh, different devices is useful because th there is quite a wide diversity of devices. Some of them will be using different versions of, of Android. Some of them will have radically different screen sizes or screen dimensions. And again, if you're looking at an app store, you are potentially targeting many different languages. So these are, these are useful guidances, uh, guidance points to, uh, to consider. Um, down through this, you'll, you'll see there's quite a lot. Building apps with graphics and animation, um, maybe not as, as, as useful as, as it could be because it's not specifically set up for a game. So we'll have a look at how we can do animation uh, whenever we have full control over this screen. Other things there, I mean, the OpenGL series for hardware acceleration of it, uh, some, some quite useful uh, components. Other things then, they, they have a full sort of guide details for the APIs, full sort of reference set of tools. 
Um, and, and again, if you've downloaded the documentation, you'll, you'll be able to draw upon that directly through uh, the Android uh, Studio. A uh, few other things, tools, samples. So, I mean, samples, if, if you do want to have a look at some existing code, you can, there's quite a wide range of samples that they have. And actually, there's a, an easy way of getting access to them. So, within Android Studio, at the start, you can import an Android code sample. And this actually will we'll go off to that site and will show you all of the different samples that are available. And again, you can go down. Uh, some will be in C++, not really interested in those, but you, you can pick one that, that interests you uh, and, and then take that across. So say input, I don't know, basic gesture detection. Uh, we can do next. We can then check out a copy of this, open it up in our own uh, local Android um, Studio version, run it, modify it, and get to see how it works. So again, if you're, if you're looking at a new area, often it's useful to just to check it out to see how they've implemented it and what you might want to add then on top of it. Um, so we have this being checked out. Uh, all of these ones, again, is useful. You want to look at the line down at the bottom. So for example, we see that the Gradle build is running. So we're not going to do anything until it's done. And then it's indexed in the files. So it's done that. And we then at that point have access to um, the project that we take out for uh, the, the fragment, the, the listener, uh, and we can see the code that they've done. So quite a useful way of, of going through and exploring um, different samples. Just going back to our website, so distribute is the last one on this. This has lots of useful advice about when you are in a position of wanting to share this, to, to put it up on the App Store, some of the things to, uh, to keep in mind for it. But will not really be touched upon this in the, the course. If you do, lots of stuff there for uh, for carrying on. In terms of some other things then to, to look at, so the Google's Android developer site is quite a broad one. Like I said, it's not specific to uh, to games. Uh, if, if you you can sort of search for Android game development, again, you, you'll find a number of sites, um, some different vintages or edges, but have a look uh, along uh, those ones as well. One that quite a few of the students have ended up uh, using is this Kilobot. Um, it's quite a reasonably active one. Uh, so again, that there, there's some useful tutorials on that you can follow going through by way of doing um, game development. Open uh, um, GL is, is hardware accelerated version. Again, you've got some that go into doing that. And there's a few sort of uh, Android game development platforms out there that um, you may want to have a look at as well. A few other things, YouTube. Again, there's quite a few videos on YouTube. So if you want to go on there and have a look uh, for them, feel free to do that. Maybe the last thing to, to mention is, is about images. Um, so, there's quite a lot of, of, of images that your game is likely to, to need to use depending on what you're doing. And um, you have a question of whereabouts you're going to find those, uh, those images. Um, so certainly Google Images itself is quite a, a useful uh, resource um, in terms of searching for a sprite sheet. So I don't know, uh, all sprite sheet. We did that again we'll get a number of sprite sheets that that appear and we could take those in and we could use those to provide some form of of animation if we wanted to do it we need to be careful in in terms of the royalty and the use around those but google images uh, quite often is your friend in terms of being able to find these things uh, another useful one is actually the pixel uh, prospector and a useful site itself so, so they're set up for you know, part of the, the indie game development um, community. And inside, inside graphics there, um, you'll, you'll sort of find a number of links about how you can download royalty-free graphics. So again, essential stuff if you want to be able to push this up. And, and a list of links. Lots and lots of information is out there. I suppose the challenge comes into uh, being able to navigate it, to sift through it, and to work out what truly is going to be of use to you and what isn't of use. Um, so you know, do feel free to delve into this. Don't feel free to just to, to discard things if you think that's not for me. Look for the, the things you think are going to be of most benefit. Um, 
hopefully all of this it'll sit alongside the stuff we have within the course and uh, lots of, of interesting material for you to, to delve into.